Hey, what's up you guys? So, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm G, I make videos every Friday. If you don't know me, make sure you subscribe below so you know when I post every Friday. So first of all, I just want to apologize for like this like weird lighting. It's like cloudy outside and you know, I don't have that bougie lighting yet. So I'm kind of like doing what I can do right now, but I should be getting like some lights that like I can get a studio effect soon so the lighting isn't so terrible in these when it's not sunny so yeah so last night i asked people to ask me questions because i thought i haven't done a q a in a while so i thought you know why not like update it whatever i asked people to ask me questions using the hashtag i'm actually asking gia so today i'm just gonna kind of go through those tweets and questions and answer them giggling murray asks can i be the first question um, well, I guess you kind of have to be now, so... CubanXDoll365 asks, what would you tell 5-year-old Gia? When I look back growing up, I was always kind of, like, worried about what people thought about me, and I'd always try to behave, and I was so shy, I remember. I was just, like, scared to, like, express myself and get in trouble. Like, I was always the good kid in class. Like, I was always, like, the teacher's favorite and all that, because I never got in trouble. I was always quiet. If I could go back and tell my five-year-old self something, it would just be to not hold back and to be myself and not care what others think. Daddy Kyler 2 asked, can you shout me out or can we collab? Well, I just shouted you out because um, I kind of just said it. And on the collab part, yeah, like I'm down to collab with anybody. I mean, if I'm ever in the area or whatever, I'm going to be at Playlist Live next month in Orlando. So I'm collabing with a lot of people and I just want to like make content and make videos with everyone. So for real, if you're over at Playlist, let's collab. Jordan Birch. I always like never know how to pronounce your last name. So like, sorry. Uh, anyway, she asked, what's your ultimate goal in life? Mm. I feel like there's a lot to like sum it all together. My ultimate goal in life would just to be to have a sense of fulfillment because at the end of of everything you know when i'm laying on my deathbed 100 years old or whatever i want to look back on my life and know that i fulfilled everything that i wanted i want to feel like i accomplished what i wanted to do in my life meaning like whether that's being successful with youtube or acting or anything of that and like just like being happy i just want a sense of fulfillment like i accomplished and i did what i wanted to do with my life before i'm gone Kanisha Harper asked, how long have you had this Twitter account? I've had my Twitter account since 2011, I want to say. I think it was 2011, but I didn't actually start like using it until 2012. I had it way back when I was a Stan Twitter account for Justin Bieber. So yeah. Who is Mike asked, toilet paper over or under? Definitely over. Like, I just feel like, you know. It's easier to grab it because under it's such a hassle like you gotta like grab it from underneath but it's like easier to like reach over okay i'm done talking forever boy lbbh um he's got multiple questions in here so i'm just gonna answer them separate concert essentials concert essentials are portable charger at least one or two with good wattage your charger headphones a little perfume bottle like this because you're gonna be like stinking up everywhere throughout the day and sweating and all that and it's super gross so it's good to keep perfume with you if you wear makeup blotting paper and setting powder like 100% because you don't want to be like looking all greasy and it keeps your makeup stay intact and it's just great what is one way you cope with a bad day this either goes two ways I either cry and just like let it all out and have like a tantrum or I kind of just like shut everyone out and stay by myself and just like do stuff that like makes me feel happy like, color or something or i'll listen to music or i'll watch funny youtube videos so stuff like that alicia 99 xx asked can we be friends of course brianna nicole asked favorite meet and greet experience and why favorite meet and greet experience um probably any of the press plays that i've been to uh press play don't know her hmm. Just because I feel like every time I went there and I met someone, it's always been more of like a connection type thing and less of worrying about a picture. Because I'm a person, I care more about connections with people than I do with pictures and footage and all that. So definitely um, any press place that I've been to. Oh my God, please stop calling me. 
I applied to colleges and Phoenix University keeps calling me, but I don't like picking up people's calls and talking on the phone, so I'm just gonna decline. Oops. <laughs> Kaylee with an extra C underscore asked, what's your favorite restaurant slash fast food place? Um, well, I don't really eat fast food anymore just because it does terrible stuff to my skin but i'd probably say noodles and company is definitely one of my favorites i just like i don't know it's great clay underscore bryce asked which creators are you looking forward to meeting at playlist live orlando i'm looking most forward to andrea russet because she is the main reason why i started youtube and i feel like we're like the same people sometimes because we're both from indiana we both have brown hair whatever so you know so andrea and then sam collins i fucking love sam collins like i feel like he's me i'm him we're one like i love him he's great and i don't know who else honestly i don't really know that many creators going to playlists and like the ones that i do know i don't know them that much like i pretty much just watch their videos and that's it ariana underscore favors asks what is your most prized possession p.s i love you i love you too and my most prized possession few moments late oh i gotta think what is my most prized possession shit i'm like looking around my room trying to figure out what it is more moments later i have no clue much 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 later oh duh my most prized possession is probably my gucci bag <laughs> Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Spread the rest on new chain. Because for the longest time, I really wanted one, and like I was finally financially stable to get one. And you know, I don't know. It just like means a lot to me. I don't know. Not only actual value, but like a lot of like sentimental value because it's kind of me saying like, hell yeah, like look at me, like I'm treating myself and all that. Trinity Z Avela asked. Can this be the last question in the video? Sure, there you go. So yeah guys, that's it. Thank you to everyone that asked me questions. If you wanna ask me a question next time for the next time I do a Q&A, you can follow my Twitter. It's down in the description along with my Instagram and Snapchat. So make sure you're following me on there and have my notifications on so you never miss a single thing I tweet. Also, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already so you can see my weekly videos. And also share the video with someone that you think would like it. I also want to say thank you for 800 subscribers. We are literally getting so close to 1,000. I'm really trying to get to 1,000 before the summer. I really just appreciate the overall support of you guys watching my videos and subscribing to me. It really means more to me than anyone knows. So who knows, maybe at 1,000 subscribers I'll do a giveaway or shout outs or something like that just to say thank you to everyone that supports me and watches my videos. But that's it you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace out!